All right, thanks for watching. And today we would like to define the limit of a sequence. In other words, what happens to your sequence as n as n goes to infinity? And in fact, consider the following example. So suppose your sequence is 3 minus 1 over n squared. And picture-wise what this looks like. So it starts, I believe, at 2 because n equals 1. And it just goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. And it seems to go to the value s equals 3. And intuitively, it seems that the sequence approaches 3 as n goes to infinity. And our goal is really to make this rigorous. And what we'll do, we'll start with a very intuitive definition. And step-by-step, um, step we want to build up to a more rigorous definition. Again, intuitively, what we would like to say is that Sn, so the limit as Sn goes to as n goes to infinity of Sn equals S, what that means simply Sn goes to S as n goes to infinity, as n is large. Okay, now, first of all, what does it mean for Sn to grow to S? And Sn goes to S, all that this means is that Sn is very close to S. In other words, the distance between Sn and S is very small. And remember from section 3, we defined the notion of a distance. So distance between Sn and S, all that it is, is just the absolute value of Sn minus S. So essentially what we want, we want this distance to be small. So if this is Sn and this is S, then the distance is just absolute value of Sn minus S. And again, we want this to be small. So in other words, the next step is simply as follows. We would just like to say we can make this distance, Sn minus S, as small as we want. simply if by choosing n to be large enough. n large enough. All right, what does it mean that n is large enough all it means, there's some threshold such that if you go after that threshold, this thing is actually very small. So that is, there is some threshold so capital N and just to emphasize that it's different from little n, I will just underline it, okay, just so you're clear about this, such that if n is bigger than capital N, then this thing is as small as we want. Sn minus s is as small as we want. And you have to understand, really, n goes to infinity, n is large, so essentially we don't really care what happens for n equals 1 or n equals 2. The whole point is, you know, if this is s, it's okay for the sequence to be large and uh, to, for this distance to be large for a couple of values. All that we're saying is there is some threshold n such that after you reach that threshold, 
all the values of your sequence are actually pretty close to your limit. Okay. So if n is bigger than m, then your sequence Sn is actually pretty close to your limit S. Okay, very good. I promise we're almost done. So now the question is, what does it mean to be as small as we want? And here you have to understand, what does small mean? For astronomers, if I tell you 10 kilometers, an astronomer will say, oh, that's actually pretty small. So if I tell you a meteorite is 10 kilometers away from you, you will like, oh no, you know, there's a, we have a problem, okay? But for, let's say, a microbiologist, 10 kilometers is actually pretty big. So if I tell you a bacteria is 10 kilometers away from you, you're probably just like, okay, it's social distancing, so it's very good. Um, and so really, 10 kilometers for one person might be small for, for that person, but might be big for another person. On the other hand, 10 nanometers for microbiologists is pretty small, I hope. And in some sense, what we want, we want some definition that makes everyone happy. And without further ado, we finally have the actual definition of a limit. So first of all, let epsilon be positive. So, and think of this as an error. E as an error, but E is already Euler's number, so actually just epsilon. And for, again, uh, astrophysicist, that should be uh, 10 kilometers. For a microbiologist, that should be 10 nanometers. Then we finally have our definition of our limit. And it's really just a restatement of this. And again, by the way, this is ultra important literally the most important definition of this chapter. Okay, we say limit as n goes to infinity of Sn equals S means, okay, for all, no matter how small epsilon is, for all epsilon positive, there is some threshold, capital N, okay, such that if N is bigger than capital N, then, so no matter how small the error, there is some threshold such that once you reach that threshold, the error is very small. So Sn minus S, is less than epsilon. And let's see, again, no matter how small your error is, so for epsilon, there's some threshold such that after we reach that threshold, we actually have that the error is small. In other words, Sn is at most epsilon away from S. And I will draw a little picture in a second, but I just want to emphasize what does that mean in terms of inequalities. So note, uh, this thing, if this confuses you, this is actually the same thing as Sn minus S is between epsilon and minus epsilon. And this is just the same as saying Sn is less than S plus epsilon and bigger than S minus epsilon. So now let me draw the picture. So suppose you have your sequence. Draw the sequence in a second, and this is your limit. Think of this, S minus epsilon and S plus epsilon, to be a good region. It's the one where we want to be at. This is S, S plus epsilon, and this is S minus epsilon. So this region is good. Again, you want your sequence to be in this region because this is the region where the error is less than epsilon. So the error is small. 
And what this is saying is, even though initially the sequence might not be in the region, there is some threshold, capital M, such that once you after this threshold, your sequence is actually in that region. So this is your SN, and it might not, you know, could be above or beyond, doesn't matter. So again, no matter how small epsilon is, so no matter how small this region is, you can always eventually get in that region after reaching that threshold capital M. And last but not least, let me give you an analogy that may or may not help. Um, think of SN as being a plane, and this good region as being your runway. What this is saying is, no matter how small your runway is, you can eventually be at that runway uh, once you reach a thir certain, certain threshold. Think once you reach a certain mileage, you know, a certain speed, you can always be always inside that, uh, in that runway. So, and that's a good thing. And in the next series of videos, no pun intended, uh, we'll uh, do examples with that rigorous definition of a limit. Thank you.